Welcome to Rocking Abraham. Today I'm going to be showing you a video of the Veganator and he is attacking MGTOW philosophy and I'm going to set him straight. Hi Turd Flinging Monkey, I'm the Veganator. So I guess you could also label me as a white nationalist or better yet, a white supremacist, white racist individual. Seriously, you need to get off the roids, okay? Because if you're really serious about producing white babies, that's not going to help you at all, okay? Now, you can beef up pretty damn good with just whey protein alone. So you, you need to get off the roids, okay? That's my advice. Well, because, see, I also blame the Jews for all the problems plaguing our society. And it's not up for debate or argument. Why? Are you going to stop us? Okay? You guys keep creeping up on our forums, on our... Uh, YouTube channels and keep posting about your Jew conspiracies and things like that and then you argue with us to make more babies and other things like that and then we try to tell you that 51 million women have killed 51 million babies and and what do you guys tell us that it was the Jews it was some men's fault it was not the women okay so just you've lost your mind so with that, you gotta try to silence me or shut me down by calling me ad hominem attacks like a white supremacist. Yes, what else are we supposed to call you? You're, you are who you are. Embrace it. I mean, if you call me a Christian, I'm not gonna be like, hmm, that's an ad hominem attack. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Which doesn't work with me because I'm not afraid to be politically incorrect or be labeled a racist, especially when all the talking points are facts and true. Now see, you'll say that I'm an emotional based thinker. Seem pretty emotional to me. I use logic and common sense. I critically think and analyze the situations and circumstances that we as white Europeans are placed in, such as how MGTOW is not the solution for us. Okay, um, MGTOW isn't a movement, okay? It's a philosophy, okay? It's not a solution. It only tells you what is happening. It only explains why you're getting divorce rape. It only explains why you shouldn't marry because you're going to end up getting divorce rape. It explains all these things that are wrong from American female women. And it doesn't really explain anything else, okay? It, it, it doesn't explain how we ought to go to war with X, Y, and Z, okay? It's, it's just not a solution that you're looking for. I don't understand what you're talking about because you want us to make white babies. We don't want to make white babies because it's too costly. We're going to end up having high suicide rates. So what you're really honestly telling us is to go kill ourselves and we're not listening especially when these Jews are carrying out the white genocide agenda upon us. The last time I checked, 59 million American women killed 59 million American babies through abortion. And that is from the females, okay? This, is, this has nothing to do with males, some kind of Jew male conspiracy theory where these invisible male Jews are holding some kind of invisible guns to the heads of American women to force them into some kind of abortion. MGTOW, such as what you're doing here, playing video games, going your own way, is not how you make changes in society. You're going for the path of least resistance. <laughs> and what are you doing? Mouthing off to other guys because they want to take away the coin purse to the real enemy? Come on now. Seriously. What are you doing? What have you done? You're running your fucking mouth. You are the one who's doing the least resistance, okay? You just have a big mouth and that's it, okay? At least on the big towel side of things, we are boycotting. A financial boycott is like an embargo, okay? Do you even know what an embargo is, okay? Because that's basically what MGTOW is, an embargo on feminism that has gone out of control. The white nationalist movement is a movement. Because they understand that you need to go against the grain. You need to get out there and do something to make changes in society. And the best way to do that is to take back your government and put people in positions of power. Yes, let's put nukes in the hands of white nationalists. 
so they can kill all other white people first, like Hitler did, and then go on to do whatever he had planned after killing all other white people. Politicians of the government does not favor the weak or people who do not put changes or effort to make those changes in society. You're talking about uh, a movement, a political movement, okay? That's different than a philosophy. MGTOW is all about a philosophy right now. It has nothing to do with any kind of political movement at all. There are vast differences between being a movement and being a philosophy. All the initiatives and problems being put upon our society by these Jews are carrying out a genocidal agenda and are responsible for the destruction of the male and female relationship. This is a straw man. You're, you're blaming that all the problems that the women have caused by electing officials to gain more power for themselves, to destroy the institution of marriage itself and to make it into some kind of resource extraction game, a lotto if you will, but not actually being a real union, you're making it into a straw man that it was somehow the Jews who did this. Vaz worshipping, white knighting, etc. Please do that to my video. Showcases to how I'm white knighting, being a Vaz worshiper. This is a straw man. You're blaming somebody else for the responsibility of another. Okay, there's 51 million women from 1973 up until 2010 who went into abortion clinics and killed 51 million babies. Okay, so yes, you're still Vaz worshiping because you're blaming somebody else instead of the people who really did the killing. Ruin this shit, feminism. Yeah, that would be the females. We have to back up to 1913. Who took over the government and the Federal Reserve, the most powerful financial institution in America? Who owns the Federal Reserve? The Federal Reserve System is not owned by anyone, although parts of the Federal Reserve System share some characteristics with private sector entities. The Federal Reserve was established to serve the public interest. The Federal Reserve derives its authority from Congress, which created the system in 1913 with the enactment of the Federal Reserve Act. The central banking system has three important features. One, a central governing board. The Federal Reserve Board of Governors. Two, a decentralized operating structure of 12 Federal Reserve Banks. And three, a blend of public and private characteristics. The Board of Governors in, the U in Washington, D.C. is the agency of the federal government. Okay? They're the ones in charge. They're an agency of the federal government. Those are the ones in charge of the Federal Reserve. Okay? So, if you don't like your president to hire somebody based on their religion then why don't you write a letter to the president asking them not to hire somebody based on their religion now this is where you're wrong once again because see social justice warriors are anti-white terrorist organizations that are sanctioned and funded by jews such as their media news outlets the government the education system politicians as well as wealthy individuals like george soros who is a jew that funded black lives matter antifa and feminist movements to attack white europeans to destroy our homelands cause chaos division and mayhem okay george soros does not practice the jewish religion that does not make him a jew that makes him an atheist okay secondly he subscribes to multiculturalism and part of this is because a lot of white nationalists took over his country during World War II and he figured that those are the real enemies of the world after he saw the horrors that they put upon um, his relatives, his friends, his family, his country. So yeah, I could see why he has a mental problem and fear of white nationalists because of what happened. But it's not an unfounded fear okay it's not a phobia it was out of real life experience okay so you can thank your white nationalism for creating somebody like george soros who then went on to spread his multiculturalism bullshit feminism into america and europe so in effect, you created this devil. 
You just want to state that, you know what, ignore it, it's not a problem. When they're telling you exactly how our demographics are declining within all white European countries, how we're being genocided by these biological weapons of mass destruction. Okay, um, you, yes, the demographics are going down. The reason why is because we're not producing enough children. The reason we're not producing enough children is nothing to do with MGTOW. MGTOW was only a recent invention by guys who, are, who come up with their own philosophy of what's going on with these women and why they're treating men so horribly, why there's all these law, rules and laws that basically divorce, rape a man, uh, and, and make him want to have high suicide rates, okay? So let me get into the demographics part, okay? The demographics part is that 41% of women are married, okay? 33% of women are married with children of the fertile age 15 to 45, okay? We're not going to talk about 46-year-olds and plus, okay? Now, of this age group, you will know that there are 1 million more men from age 15 to age 45. Okay, so there's no lack of men. The women aren't marrying. The women aren't having kids. Now, see, you want to believe that Nazis are skinhead, shaved up tattoo motherfuckers, goose stepping around, seem sing how and kill all blacks and Jews and all this crap. No, that's what they have programmed and brainwashed you to think. No one got programmed to do anything. Everybody knows that Hitler attacked 13 white nations and then killed millions of white people in this gigantic world war, okay? It, it, it's not fucking illusion, it happened. And then you have the Mein Kampf which basically tells you his mentality of why he did what he did and why the Germans uh, followed him in doing what they were doing. And then you have his speeches, okay? It's hard to throw all those three things out the fucking door for your illusionary, mystical idea that Hitler was some kind of good guy and he was good for the white race by killing millions of us. And, you know, it it's starting to look like you have been the one who's been programmed. That You know what? Maybe in 10, 20, 30 years, they'll change the laws in our favor. No! No.